Is it recording? Okay, so uh, we rec got all this. I don't know what the frick's going on with the camera, but I'm going to run up the uh, valley here because he's been taking a lot of his items up the alley here. And that is uh, the part uh, <laughs> that's really uh, concerning about uh, dumping in Dayton, Ohio is legalized here. So let me run up here and try and get it as best as I can. And a lot of this is due to uh, the property we were just at. It's not the uh, fault of uh, the individual living in the in the home, but uh, the individual that is living in the shed. He likes to go through uh, the alleys and pick up uh, debris, trash, and so forth, and bring them back to the property to tear it apart to recycle the wires and so forth for pennies. Uh, there's a the refrigerator that uh, we complained about. I'm not going to walk all the way up to the property because I was already up there earlier and the garage door is still open and unboarded. On this side over here of the alley is uh, more debris. That was illegally dumped uh, and caught uh, by several of us uh, from somebody else uh, driving up with uh, a trailer. All these all these cardboard boxes here, we watched uh, Joshua bring those up on the uh, shopping cart uh, earlier today. All the wood paneling right there, well, it's a floor paneling, uh, came from a property on East Parkwood. It's just up the street. Up here, this, this is the property. I'm run up in here real quick and out. Uh, on the last video, this window was open. I do not believe that was there. And everything else had, nothing else has changed. Everything is boarded up. All that's still there. But that, that board is new. And I can't remember, yeah, that board was there. That board was not. That's last week. So let's run back out here. And see what the changes that have been in just one week. And this is one side I'm watching on the other side to see if there's anything. But here. There's a bunch of it. This, this property is all boarded up by the city. Look at all the debris that is collecting. But that is nothing. That's absolutely nothing. Okay. Somebody lives here. Now look at this. Look at this debris. And look, there's some more of that wood, that floor paneling. This is the shopping cart Josh likes to use to move his items around. This is what the backyard here looks like now. Just on the other side. Hey, there's an individual that's sitting out there right now. Now, that stuff right there, that does not belong. I do believe that guy right there put it there. And he does not own this property. This is a vacant lot where they tore down a house. This is the man who is causing a lot of problems. I think what he's doing, he's buying up storage units, getting what he, uh, is valuable out of them, selling them, and everything else, he just, just deposited it out in the alley. Look at the roof right there. That's a violation of city code. All this crap back here, it's a city code violation. There's another city code violation been here for too long, way too long. And you see, he, they utilize anything. They don't care. They dump on everybody. 
Look at that mattress sitting all the way up there at the house. All they're doing is just trashing this neighborhood, bringing it down. Broken window, boarded up. But hey, it has power. There's probably squatters in there. All this right here this has been cleaned up by me many times. And the city comes up here with front loaders, big huge tractors, and a dump truck that hauls it all the way down here to load it up in the back of a dump truck to carry it off to the dump. Very cost effective, my boys and girls. Very cost effective. Instead of dealing with the issue, resolving it, they'd rather spend taxpayer dollars paying for a front loader to come up this alley to drag all that crap out of here. That's the end of part three. Hopefully, part four will have better news and that shed will be gone.